natural health care. And I'm Oya Kiserovic, I'm a naturopathic doctor. Oya is going to show us some limbic breathing technique. Okay, Richard. So this breathing is very quick and very powerful. Within a few minutes, you can bring in more oxygen and de-stress and, and have more energy. Wow. Okay. So the first um, thing I'm going to say, we're going to breathe only through our nose. Okay. This prevents hyperventilation, which brings in more oxygen. Okay. So if you are already a nose breather, we can move on mm -hmm. and look at your belly and see how you're breathing. What you want to do is when you're inhaling, you want your tummy to go out. Okay. So right now it's moving a little bit more up than out. So if there's a challenge with that, I just get them to put their hand on their tummy and just push. Because then you're feeling those muscles. You, you know where it is. And another hand I put up on the chest because this hand, you don't want it to move. Only the bottom hand should be moving. So let's do inhalation and the tummy goes out. Exhalation, it will slowly goes back. So we practice that a few times. And when I feel like you have that right, mm -hmm. we're doing the dark, it's called diaphragmatic breathing. We, mo we move on to something called feather breathing. Okay. And it's called feather or limbic breathing because we use a feather for training purposes. You don't have to use this all the time. So we're placing the feather right in front of the nose and we're breathing in and out. When we're exhaling, the little Pringles here are not supposed to move much. So the less movement, the better. This makes your breathing much smaller. We call it mouse breathing versus tiger breathing where you're going, that's high, more hyperventilation. That's exaggerated, but hmm. you get the point. So the longer, slower you breathe, the more oxygen you will get, okay? So we'll just show it with Richard here. You can put your hand here and you can choose to put this one or not. And then you're gonna inhale through your nose and then slowly exhale and try to do it very gently. Still breathing through my nose. Only through the nose, okay. Now this last stage, once you get that feeling of how light it should be, we are going to count. The beginner's level is where we count to four inhalation. Mm -hmm. We're going to pause for two, three seconds. And then we're going to exhale for seven seconds. This is on average. Now, some people will do it shorter and some people will do it longer. So it's four, two, seven. Okay? All through the nose. So Richard is doing a great job here. Um, and of course, you wouldn't do it only twice. I recommend 10 minutes a day of this. Um, and, but the good news is that if you do this every day for a few minutes here and there, um, you can really retrain the way you breathe within four to six weeks. Wow. And once you retrain, you don't have to think about it all the time. So you will naturally start to breathe like babies breathe. If you watch babies, their tummies will move out with inhalation. Mm. And they will be nose breathing if they're not congested, which they usually are, but mm. yes. That's great. Okay. All right, thanks very much, Olya. That's great, I'm gonna practice this. So 10 minutes a day, minutes but a day. it can be broken up a few minutes here, a few minutes there. Yes, you don't have to do 10 minutes altogether. It could be while you're waiting on the phone or you're waiting for a page to open. And what I do with my patients, I suggest they take little stickers, you know, the colored brown stickers, and you can put them different places, one on your computer, one on your TV, one by the bed. So you will see the sticker, you remember, because we forget. Right, right, okay, great. Um, we're gonna put uh, our contact information uh, at the end of the video and in the information section as well, if you have uh, questions uh, or comments for Olya, and uh, you can book directly through her with the web, uh, website as well. Thanks very much, Olya. Thank you. All right, thank you.